Hello everybody, I am Rebecca Vernon and this is my YouTube channel. I've got a big beaming smile on my face today because today is the day that we're going to start our bedroom. So, um, just I am a little bit sad though to see this wallpaper go because I really, really do love it. I have got a small amount of it left, um, which I'm hoping to do a little project on just because I want to be able to keep some of it. So, um, so this is the start. We're going to start taking everything out now and uh, stripping the paper off and uh, we'll, we'll leave, we'll hopefully um, show you as we progress. So thanks very much for joining us. First things first, we needed to strip the bed down, remove the drawers and headboard to make some space. Removing the curtain rail was uh, the next job on the list, helmet board and all the curtains. We're actually having a new curtain pole for this this time, so we won't be having a helmet anymore. Um, but uh, I couldn't quite believe how mucky and that it was up there. How long it is since I cleaned all that is just unbelievable. We were hoovering it, we were wiping it. Um, uh, yeah, it was really really mucky and then we did a bit of a quick hoover over the carpet to get rid of all the bits actually not quick at all i think i hoovered it about four times um hence why the hair went up um then we put uh, sticky plastic down on the carpet for removing the wallpaper as you can see i always like to get <laughs> a start on the <laughs> wallpaper stripping but my husband likes to do this himself um, so it's over to him and as always he uses an electric wallpaper steamer I'm not sure what the make is of it um, but it came from B&Q and it's much much faster as you can see it's really quick um, it did only take it it did only take him a couple of hours to be fair um, the paper didn't come down too quickly I think it liked to be in our house to be honest then a quick sand over the wall just to get all the last little bits off to make a smooth surface for the new wallpaper. We started, or should I say Richard started it, it's the royal we of course, uh, to cover over the gold emulsion with white emulsion. We always do this um, as it cuts down on the cost. White emulsion is so much cheaper than a coloured emulsion so if you just lighten up the colour that was originally on there before you put on the colour which was going to be a pale pink so we needed to get rid of the darker gold and it's a good base to start with so we did we actually had to do two covers of the white emulsion and two on the ceiling which I don't think is bad for a ceiling um, so of course, it is the real way because Richard is the painter. <laughs> we always start um, as we do. We always do the edges with a paintbrush and the roller for the large sections. Um, that's just how Richard likes to do it. I prefer a paintbrush myself um, for the whole thing, but that's what Richard likes. We did also redo the paintwork on the windowsill, the skirting board and door with Dulux undercoat and then a Dulux non-drip gloss in brilliant white. But we haven't actually done a video of that. It's so good to see it go how it goes really quickly on these quick videos when in essence it actually took a heck of a lot longer but it was worth the wait definitely well it was definitely worth the wait for me because i wasn't doing it <laughs> oh dear. so anyway i do actually have my talents and i do my things that i like and my husband does what he likes <laughs> He's, he does do a lovely job of the painting, I have to say. So, one of the other things that we did is 
Uh, we replaced all the sealant around the window as well so that um, we got rid of all the mouldy stuff. We do wipe round. We did a really good clean of all the windows and opened them out and did in the inside bits as well. So I think you'll agree it's looking really nice. So the wall, oh, the paint was um, Good Home Coyote. I think that's how you spell it how you say it um it was a pink emulsion and it's actually a silk emulsion because i always like to use a silk because it's a lot easier to wipe over if you get marks makeup marks or on off your hands or kids kids hands on the walls or whatever and obviously we've got little lawrence now so so then it's over to me doing the wallpaper so we have actually done a separate video of this um, if you've never done wallpapering before, you can watch the video of me actually doing the wallpaper and I'll talk you through how I do the wallpapering. These are things that I've learnt from my dad. Um, and um, so, yeah, it's something that I really, really love doing wallpapering. I find it really relaxing and it's just so instant when you put the paper up as you go along you can see what it's going to look like and each piece of paper that you put up um, really does mean that um, you know it looks really nice and you're getting one step closer to the decorating being finished and then you can start on all the nice new things that you're putting in the bedding and the curtains um, so the video for um, putting the wallpaper up will be coming next week and yeah we just ha I didn't actually video the last two strips there which was a bit annoying I forgot to turn the camera on so we're just popping in all the new bedding now um, which we got from Laura Ashley now there is that we got in the closing down sale there is actually a video talking about all of that and it um, that was on a couple of months ago now before Christmas and I got some bargains. There are some groups on Facebook for people who are still after Laura Ashley things. There's a lot of people still selling that um, bought things and maybe didn't require all the rolls of wallpaper or so on. Um, so the mirror that we've got on the dressing table is actually a mirror that we had already um, that we bought quite a few years ago from Next. I think they're about... 55 they start at about 55 pounds and go up to 95. So we're nearly finished our bedroom. We've been out of this room now for five weeks. Um, it's uh, been a long process. We, we really wanted to finish it. We wanted to finish it in the morning because it was really nice, I'm really pleased with that. So 
that's cost me a fiver. So, yeah. I'm really pleased with that. So, anyway, thank you very much for joining me on our bedroom journey. I think the camera's got a bit slopey now, Mel. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling like that. Uh, <laughs> So thanks very much for joining us on our video and I hope that uh, you like the bedroom. Obviously we're going to have to get some little knick-knacky things from the windowsill and uh, when I'm able to get out, if not, we'll be doing that sort of thing. It's, that's hard to buy I think, online so I haven't really seen anything yet. So uh, anyway, thanks very much for joining us on our on our video here of our decorating please give us a like if you've enjoyed the video and if you haven't we understand that's no problem so uh, and of course if you want to see other videos of us doing things then uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and and uh, put any comments that you think if there's anything that you think that we need in our bedroom to add to it, any ideas that you've got, we'll be really grateful uh, because, you know, or if that you see anything online and you think, oh, that would be really great in Rebecca's bedroom, um, drop, me a, drop me a message on the comments and a, a little link to where it is. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look. So anyway, thanks very much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye.